What is going on guys? Welcome back for part 3 of The Wolf Among Us on episode 4. Let's carry on exploring. Wonder what's in here. Huh? That was a quick glance. Some chains here. Chemistry lab. Look at that damn butcher, man. What are they making here? I'm just a butcher. You want to talk T-bones? <laughs> that I can do. This stuff is out of my league. There are a lot of nasty spells you can make with the right equipment. I think he's hiding you something. See what's going on here? All these fables. Getting magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials. And with all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. And it's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? These shackles. He's using slave labor. No wonder people are coming to him for magic. Doing it like this is bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. When I get my hands on that crooked bastard, I'm gonna make him pay for all this. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. And that fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? If this all... I mean, finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow? No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got it some way. That's right. It was that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Can't you just vaporize anyone who gives you trouble? Do it right from your living room. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. Probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on. I told you what I knew. And look what you did to me. You're just as fucked up as they are. You really still are the big bad wolf. Is this what you do? You just go around ruining Fable's lives, tormenting people? You should have just stayed home, spent the day chain smoking. Don't play innocent with me, Butcher. You screwed with me up front. Don't cry foul, cause you got it in the end. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my end. There's no way to get out of this. If I were you, I'd run. Ho 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 ho. Alright, unlocked another fable entry. Looks like I'm gonna have to go back and do um make the other choices. It seems like in every episode you have to go back and uh make another choice to get all the fable entries. It's not like Walking Dead. Walking Dead doesn't have any entries to be honest with you. But yeah, I'm gonna have to go back to these episodes to unlock all the Fable entries. If I went to the other place first, I probably would unlock something else. I'll come here and... Oh, man. I think uh, something's gonna change here. Maybe I won't find any clues there because I came to this Butcher place first. I'll go over to the next place next time first. I'm gonna have to redo that part though. Alright, when we get to that pawn shop, I guarantee you there's going to be nothing there, man. I think um, Beast actually mentioned that. So if you go over there first, you're probably not going to find anything here. Or if you go over to Lucky don't, Pawn. Don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just going to... Jack, system. what the fuck is going on? But you, I'm uh, the guy who just going to... I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. 
If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no part of this, pal. You push me one more time, and I will have one hell of a mess on my hands. And I really don't feel like mopping out this room today. So I'm giving you one more shot to thank me for my sunny attitude and generous disposition. Turn the fuck around and walk out that door with your life. Walking out with your act. So get the fuck out of my sight. Hit the bricks. See you later. Hey, what's going on here? What the fucking hell? Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna... <clears throat> You piece of shit. <laughs> Let them fight each other. Rip your fucking lungs out. I'd like to see you try you backwards, fuckwit. Oh, big talk. You won't be talking when I'm done with you. Yeah, I'll be laughing. Ha, ha. Not restraining anyone. <laughs> How you feeling today, Sheriff? <laughs> Still a little sore, are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so tough. Yeah. You fucking mother. Oh, motherfucker. Oh. Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Uh, wow. What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fun. Not now, dog. You got a lot of nerve. Whoa. Get the axe, man. Another one. Uh oh. 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 Ah. Damn, those shit. Break that. There we go. He's probably not dead yet. This guy's tough. Wait, what the hell is he? Use the axe, buddy. Oh my god. Use that, use that. Damn. What, what happened there? Oh, what? I thought I pressed RT. God damn it. Guess I wasn't ready for that. I pressed the RT there. Oh, man. You think I died there, man? I thought that was supposed to happen because I could have sworn I did that command there. Press the right trigger and then I got freaking gored with a damn ant. Freaking hell, what the heck? Okay. There we go. Hey, asshole. I 
Alright, let's grab this one then. There we go. Missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. No fucking friends. No clue about who is really running this town. Where's the crooked man? How can I find him? You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Why just tell me this? Are you trying to rush me out of here? I'm trying to make a point, dog. You can have all the information you fucking want. It's not gonna help you when the time comes. And that time, it's a coming. Just go on. Get cringe shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. What's in there, man? Let's examine the pockets. No time for traveler's checks. There huh? we go, man. More cash. I'm taking that. You won't be needing this anymore. That's my investment there. What's he got? That sick piece of... Snow White. One more. The shard. There it is. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you can do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town. You're in his, and he sure as shit is ready for you. Out of smoke? Give him one, man. He did help me out. Here you go, brother. Thanks. Shitty grand. You're welcome. I'm not gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, go do it then. Taxi! Gotta head back now. Huh. What's next for the woodsman? Hey, Woody. Yeah. What are you gonna do now? 
We all got our role to play, Wolf. I'll see ya. See ya? Don't wanna be ya. Oh, look at the taxi. He even showed a taxi driver, too. Getting pretty intense now, isn't it? He was much feared. That Jersey guy, I don't even know what that creature was. He seemed pretty strong, though. I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket, and you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Oh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot to answer for. Oh, really? Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the crooked man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door, once it's fixed? That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Please tell me the mirror's gonna work. Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Why the hell did you burn Crane's stuff, huh? Don't bullshit me. Buffkin was there. I know it was you. Given Ichabod's obsession with Miss White, I thought it best to make sure that nothing uh, untoward saw the light of day. Oh, fuck off. I know you were burning evidence. Then tell me. What evidence did I burn? I have more important things to deal with right now. You can be sure that we're gonna have a long fucking talk about this when I'm done. I do so enjoy our talks. I'll wait with bated breath. I think he's hiding something understand. for sure. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Damn. Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. It helps that I have a good working relationship with the mirror. And I don't mind speaking in rhyme. I had a front row seat to a pretty gnarly brawl at the Lucky Pond. When I found it, it was still in Crane's coat. The last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she had some... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh. He doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that mirror is so legendary, you can find almost anything you want. Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office so bad? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. 
We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there. Yeah, thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. I'm starting to think you don't take me seriously, Toad. How many times have I told you to get glamoured up? You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in Fable Town. For a friend, the rules will bend. That's a slippery slope, that is. Colin stays in my apartment. It's a lot different than a three foot tall frog walking the streets. What? If the pig doesn't have to go, I well, shouldn't either. Okay, okay. If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not gonna ask for any more than I need. I just wanna stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest a wash. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only home he knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong but look different. You know it's not right, burdening the weakest of us like this. This world isn't kind to those of us who... Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, sir. I knew I could count on you to make me whole again. We get you sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. <laughs> what was that little jump he did? Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the Crooked Man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of his goons, but someone did. What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? Guys like the Crooked Man, all they care about is money. That's what all his operations were about. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't bringing enough money in. Or maybe they were just trying to find a way out. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. Finally, the mirror is back. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just, I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. He's probably still waking up a little. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up to. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then... Not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. What just happened? 
we pointed you in the wrong direction and looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? Just show me where I can find the Crooked Man. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. Ah, uh, recognize the door. There we go. That's the crooked man symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. What I tell you. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's going to move again, but I'm going to get there before it does. Big B, wait. When you get the crooked man. Make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand. You don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. All right, we're gonna go down Central. The crooked man's door it keeps moving, but soon he mended his evil ways. I'm gonna freaking slay. So you gotta rhyme with the damn uh, mirror to get it to uh, visualize who you're looking for. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Please tell me how. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm terrible at rhyming. Right, the Gothic Bridge, Central Park. Here we go, 94th Street. Whoa. Don't disappear, buddy. That's it, all right. Damn right. Ooh. Going inside now. Doesn't disappear on me. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving off Tiny. Tiny Tim. You'd think I'd have outgrown that centuries ago. I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you weren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street, but you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. I don't want to get in trouble. Will you just follow me? All right, let's get this over with. Come on. That's all I want, Sheriff. Whoa. 
wonder where we are now, man. After going through that uh, portal. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I thought it was a joke, actually. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is going to get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. Don't you realize you're not just minding the door? Work for that crooked bastard, your hands get dirty too. It's not so bad. Not so bad? Are you fucking blind, Tim? He's a murderer. So you're telling me you agree with everything Crane does? A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office, but he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait up, Sheriff? Hold on. I don't have time for this. God bless us, everyone. Wonder what a crooked man looks like. Hope they don't end it here, man. Hope there's no cliffhanger. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you? Eh? Alright, anyway, guys, I'm going to end the video right here. I'll see you guys next time when I open the door. Peace.